<laughs> we have been through this and you cannot pressure me. I know. I know that you need more time just to learn to trust me again. You blame me after everything we've been through. You, you break your promises, you lie through your teeth. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm not saying that you can marry me right this minute. Well, that's out of the question anyway, but I think that I need for a respectable amount of time to go past without you breaking your words. You know, just some small sign. Yes, you'll get it. I promise you, darling. Only please just give me this one favor. Please just wear this just to help my image. How's it going to help your image to be a liar? I'm not lying. I'm not lying to you. Ah, but you want me to live a lie. You want me to go around pretending that... Darling, we don't have to say a word, really. I mean, the wedding rings are going to say it all. People will just assume that we're married. Except the people who know better. Well, that's no problem. My mother and Mark. I mean, they would know that this is a good thing to do. This is this for business. Business. Mike. I'm about to sign a very lucrative contract with a major sports for concern as your exclusive spokeswoman. You must understand that I cannot possibly have a be in the public and then live a, the life of a loose woman. I can't. I mean, I would lose the whole thing if you don't go along with this. Okay. You know, I, I, got, I got a compromise situation for it. I'm not going to wear that ring, first of all, because it's meaningless. But, Mom... No, 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 I... wait, wait, I haven't finished yet. You wear your wedding ring. And I promise you that I will go along with it. Oh, my. Oh, thank you. Oh, that is the best Christmas present you could ever give me. Oh, that's good. And I can take back all those other presents I bought you. Oh, don't you? No, what? <laughs>